Oh, he's cute. So this is the edgy Spyro now, isn't it, mate? Yeah, the reboot. Yeah. Uh, no. English, <laughs> mate. Don't even dare compare me. You see in the back of this box? No. It says, unleash the true dragon within you. Uh -huh. There's Spyro fighting a big scary other dragon. Hmm. Uh... He looks like he's about to sneeze, but it says devastating fury attacks. Like his eyes are going gauzy. Ah. Um, Elijah Wood, David Spade, and Gary Oldman. Ooh. Now, first thing we want to do is put on subtitles. So if we go down to Opciones. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, subtitles on, yeah? Yeah. And then slow motion Ooh. chants. No, that's not subtitles, is it? No, it's just... Slow motion chance is annoying as hell, so turn it right down for me. Otherwise, every single fight will have Spyro going into Matrix bullet time. Yeah. We'll just turn it off completely. <clears throat> yeah, good call. Uh, Rumble features on. Yeah, that's... The rest all looks fine, yeah, as long as subtitles are on. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Nice. Music's nice in this. Okay, so... New game, definitely. New game. Gotta be. Ooh. Uh, give it a game two. Dante's Freezer. Yeah, it's just... Over... That was a test, that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Overwrite this one. Ooh. Yes. Yep. Okay, should be good to go. Caution. We will know if you remove that memory card. <laughs> <laughs> no. In the year oh, of the dragon. In a world beyond the realms. I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. But the Dark Master heard the prophecies as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh. I was wrong. Save them! He's the dark cool. armies have yeah. come. Did he open the gate by breathing fire on it? Are they mushrooms? They're like perpetually autumn trees. Are they are mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Honest. Pretty oh, yeah, it's a mushroom. I never clocked on as a kid. I thought that was like a grapefruit. May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. That was nice of him. Yeah. And he's up. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that look on his face. Yeah, he looks scared. Didn't look happy, did he? No. Are we in a lake of lemonade? Very yellow. Gotta be piss. <laughs> they look very bouncy. Isn't this where Knuckles lives? The Mushroom Hill Zone. Mushroom Something Zone, this way. Mm. The Legend of Spyro, a new beginning. Mm, a new reboot. I love this music. Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp, where a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. He looks like the main. He looks like Stallone's character from 
uh, ants. Right. Do you know ants? Yeah, um, yeah. where like the grasshoppers eat the ants. And no, things that's like that. Bugs Life. Oh. Do you know ants? Um, no. <laughs> oh, edgy Bugs Life. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's got a character in it who's this huge ant. Frightened okay. them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight. Nine, Let's not tell ten. anyone that I got Here these I films confused. It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. Mm. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Spark, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers. The more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true. But one of them, nonetheless. Use the C stick to move the camera. Okay. Do we have to? I don't like sparks in this. I know. You don't like David Spade, do you? It is David Spade, isn't it? From, um, I only know rules of engagement, and isn't he in them Adam Sandler films where he basically just goes on holiday with Adam Sandler? Yeah. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. Yeah, you better run. Spyro, of course, Elijah Wood mm -hmm. of Lord of the Rings fame. Never seen Lord of the Rings. What? The turning when you're charging is awful. I've also never seen Lord of the Rings. Isn't it? Is, isn't the one film like six hours long? I'm not too sure, but you know what? I'm is not it? gonna like talk any like shit about it because I'm, no. I'm sure I'm, I've heard the brilliant, and I'm sure if I ever did sit down and watch them, I would enjoy them. I just haven't yet. Yeah. What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly? Oh, that's right. You walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you. David Spade uh, was also in. The 2013 Tomb Raider reboot. Hmm. He wasn't really, but the guy, the skeevy guy with the glasses, his name Whitman. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Whitman. Whit yeah. Dr. Whitman, the guy recording the whole ordeal, reminds me of him very much. Hmm. Jump! Oh, you didn't jump. There's no silly jump dive in this, like in every other Spyro game. My favourite bit. What is that? Go, Victory Bell! <laughs> Seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's gotta eat, too. Frogweed. Spyro, whack it! Do something! I'm your buddy! My wings are getting moldy! You can tell David Spade was just in the sound booth, just covering his mouth as he was saying it. You kill! What's his name? Frog? Frogweed. Frogweed. I was gonna call him Frogwing, because he said yeah. wing. Now I smell hmm. almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker! Are we meant to like Sparks in this? He's just like a cretin. We're meant to find him funny, but I don't. I do not at all. Honestly, he was funnier when he was just going. Yeah. And sometimes you could actually make out what he was saying. Yeah, you always could. If you read along with his beeps, it like it was legible. Yeah. So um that's combat for this game, innit? Yep. Press the B button. Press the X button in different ways. Hmm. What the hell is that? Hey, that's is that a, We're not that can't be a dinosaur now. Is it the crocodile <laughs> from <laughs> Sonic Hero? <laughs> Probably. In a, is it Lost Jungle? Looks like a giant snake because there's only like two front teeth. Yeah, what's that level called in Sonic Heroes? The second jungle level. Lost it's Frog Forest. Jungle? Is it Lost Jungle? I think so. Nice. Oh, where are we now? An elephant graveyard is no place for a... Oh, I've said too that little hmm. gone now. I didn't walk far enough. That shouldn't have happened. Hmm. I'll accept it. That freaks me out. Why does he lift his wing to hear better? He's like cupping his ear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. I get it. Uh, What's okay. in there? Nothing of use. Nothing at all in there, mate. Hmm. The name weed implies that they're rooted in the ground, yeah. but that one just jumped, so he's clearly not. Hmm. 
How long's it been since Big Red Dragon put us in the river? Uh, seven years, I think it said. Seven years. I was actually as well paying attention, I just don't remember it saying it. I don't know why they put me here, I can't do anything. Let's carry on anyway. Little butterflies there. After if Sparks gets out. You know, this is getting a little These guys are screwed now. Every villain, not even villain, just every mook in this has a randomly generated name, doesn't it? Yeah. Like Mahez Street Wanderer over here. Street Wanderer sounds like a bad name for a person speaking in this place. Snake Breaker, he's a wanker. Shockmaster, more like Shitmaster. Kick the shit out of him. Paul. Cold Bone. Venom Ghost is a sick name, mate. That's my new game attack. I think they just written a bunch of like edgy sounding names. Like edgy sounding words, and yeah. then the algorithm puts them together in different ways. Yeah. Why has he got modern dynamite? X to knock away the dynamite before it explodes. Doom Comet. <laughs> How do you even pronounce that first one? Temakias. He had a cool first name, Everbear. But yeah, weird, it's a waste of time, really, because they could have just named them all like Christoph, Ape Bandit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are the apes? What um? Let me out of here and fight what is the name? Baboons. What's Rafiki? Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, they look like baboons. They could have just put Baboon Bandit for all of them. Yeah. And like Baboon Marksman. I like the fact that they came up with original names for each one. It is fun, but it sounds like a lot of work for nothing, really. Because yeah. who's going to be... Take care of them. I got to report to Cinder. Who's Cinder? Who is Cinder? Hmm. Bye, then. I reckon this is the Spyro they use in Skylanders. Because the Skylanders one's a bit edgier than normal. Um like Year of the Dragon and Ripto's Rage Spyro. And also it's got Cinder, doesn't it? Yeah. Skylanders has Cinder and Cinder's uh, yeah, partner in crime. It's clearly not classic Spyro to use with that bloom and design they went. <laughs> Cat Voyager. Okay guy. <laughs> Strong Archer. Have you just got to win these fights? Yeah. It is a bit, it, it, I think it does get repetitive soon. Yeah. Get me out of here, Spyro. I think my wings are singed. Are you okay? You almost torched me, dude. Alright, next time I'll leave you. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> you breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty. When Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flame from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. No, yeah, some help. You nearly turned me to ashes, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah, next time we're leaving him. him. He came yeah. out breathing fire. All right, I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me, Spyro? Tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh, Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all. If you don't have mirrors in Dragonfly Swamp, it's Sendo. From an unknown distant land. Never notice he's got legs. So, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his mm. home. So that's it, huh? Maybe I think I said this to you before, Hannah. 
Not a this is Disney's a... Hercules. <clears throat> Have so. your home, Sparks. You know how. Found he's found out. Is. He's got weird extra powers that no one else's age has. He's found out he's adopted and now he's gonna find his way. He's gonna go the distance to find where he belongs. Fearless, proud and strong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up. Your nose clean and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. Hmm. See a weird, like, not legs. Yeah. That's disgusting. So hard as it was. Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. So is this after Mufasa's death? Mostly. Really went too far with this. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> How's that thing? How the hell am I to know? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that moving? Great movies. What are they called? Frog weeds. Easy. So can you light that thing on fire? This thing? Yeah. No. No. And what the hell is it for, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, frog weed. Can you get other breaths in this game? Yep. Yeah. Sick. You can get about four. What's this? Do you know what they are? No, it's not a mushroom, it's a spider. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, it's fairy bud honey maple. Heir to the honey maple fortune. <laughs> ah, I feel bad now. Why? So that noise he made was like he was genuinely upset. Your ass. I killed him for it. I thought that was one of his eggs. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a double jump. Well, that breaks the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. So, uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. He's basically a self lantern, anyway. Yeah, look at him glowing there, look crisp. Wow. Nah, mate, I'm not big on sparks at all, yeah. Another honeybee. Oh, Elm thicket shrublim. I know I should be watching <laughs> drama. <laughs> I know I should be watching the action, but my eye is drawn to looking at the names. <laughs> That's fine. He killed Troublin. <laughs> yeah, I did. And you're next. You can horn dive into enemies. A to jump to throw stuff at you. I'm trying to. A to jump and then R. Lizard twist, nipple twist. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Scar Wolf! Oh my god, he's sick. Oh, monkey. I like the water effect. Oh, that is nice, how far was it? Yeah. Can we not run from these? We've got a slaughter. 
Uh, I think we've got to get rid of more. Than this oh, pick. okay. That's fine. Has this game got any puzzles, or is it all walk in this room, fight all these guys? I think it, it's, it is that, yeah. Ooh, nice. Through dynamite himself, make a Resident Evil 4 for you there. <sighs> he cut you good then, Mason. Honestly, if you ever lose your weasel, this guy, Hamlet, is the guy. <laughs> Fisty Ghost Cutter! <laughs> you love these names. His name's you? Fisty for Christ's sake. I suppose it helps differentiate between the one you're punching and the one you're locked onto if they all do have different names. Rather than if they all said Baboon Bandit and then you would punch him on and his life wasn't going down because you actually locked onto the one behind him. And there's Swamp Thing to sort you out. Three people! S no! They're cool, they look cool. Surely fire will be most effective against these guys. Great oak would be it. Oh, he's kicking your ass. So what are these gems I keep seeing Spyro pick up? So the red ones do your health, the green ones do your uh, energy or power as I say. That was a cool dodge by the way when you like he swung but you jumped out his way when you were in him. I didn't even notice to be fair. So red gives you health back instead yep. of killing animals for sparks. Green gets your energy for like your your flame breath back. And what were you gonna say? Um I think there's purple ones as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay we'll keep our eye out for them. What do they do? I think they do your powers or something? Oh, like upgrades? Yeah. Bloodcaster, he was edgy. Why, why are these down here then? Because you fall down here. Mm. So you fall and then he cuts. <laughs> That's why they call him Fall Cutter. Platforming, mate, in my Spyro game. Yeah. Crazy. Imagine if they rebooted Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Yeah. But Crash was like a lost prince of Bandicoots. And he had to. Turbos. He had to, like, reconcile differences between two tribes at war so that they can unite to fight Cortex. <laughs> that is basically what this game does to Spyro. This, this to Spyro is like what the Archie comics are to Sonic, where it's just weird and too, like, dramatic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cutsy. Oh yeah, scream, so whatever made the noise knows where you're at. Exactly. What in the world was that? I have no idea, but I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. Yeah? When he and I finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> You're... you're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? Do you know me? Where do I come from? What are you? What are we? What am I? So many questions. You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There were others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? 
where I came from, I mean? No, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you. They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You? Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might uh, mix that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Armies attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. One cutscene. <laughs> For many years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. And when we were beginning to turn the tide, Cinder came. Cinder? Yes, Cinder. Cinder was, is, monstrous, horrific, ferocious. Black dragon Ooh. fills the skies with terror. An unstoppable force of nature. Uh, yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched as Cinder plucked the other guardians from the fields of battle, like so many ripe grapes from a vine. She stole oh, another dragon. Thing. Yeah. Our cause is lost. Not big, she was. Yes, yeah, she was. Igniters managed to escape. Not that it matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been. What else I might have done. Dude, it does sound like he's just giving up. Wow. Sounds. Yeah, so today I thought Spyro was dead. I want to hang out with sure. this guy. The, yeah. the mythical <laughs> purple dragon. I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home or family left? I've come way too far to give up now. I want to see where I come from. Hold up, Savior Boy. Were you not listening to this guy? He's talking about flying dragons and war and horrible... This is bad stuff, all right? I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. It's true the prophecies spoke of the purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually going to go along with this lunatic. Very well, then. We'll go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. That's a cool one. Am I the only one saying here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff.